ancient of days, we adore you, our Redeemer, our Savior. We have come before you, the King of the universe, the all-seeing God, the all-knowing God. No one can hide before you, Almighty Father. We come in true repentance unto you, our Maker. Almighty Father, if we say we do not have any sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, you said in your word, O Lord, that woe unto him that covers his sins. Whoever covers his sins will not prosper. But whoever confess their sins, forsake it, shall obtain mercy. Lord, we want your mercy, O oh Lord. We, I desire your mercy, almighty God. Father, O oh Lord almighty, you are a righteous God. You are a pure God. You judge righteously, O oh Lord. If you mark iniquity, Lord, we cannot stand. Father, we come unto you, O Lord, this hour. In genuine repentance, O Lord, we are sorry, O Lord, for our sins, O Lord. We are sorry, O Lord, for our transgressions. We are sorry, O Lord, for our excesses, O Lord. Father, we take responsibility, O Lord Almighty, for these things, O Lord, that we have done. We do not play the blame game because when we blame each other, it doesn't solve the problem. Lord Almighty, we seek, O Lord, for your forgiveness. We seek, O Lord Almighty, for your mercy, O Lord. Father, we confess, O Lord, and we ask, O Lord, in true repentance, O Lord, unto you, Almighty God, for you alone, you are our anchor, O Lord. You alone, you are the pillar that holds our lives, O Lord. You don't need any man to be the God that you are. You are a self-sufficient God. We need you, Lord. Without you, we are nothing. Without you, O Lord, we are absolutely nothing. So, Father, we come unto you, O Lord Almighty, this hour in true repentance, O Lord. And Father, O Lord Almighty, we, 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 we say, O Lord, give us a clean heart, O Lord. Give us a heart, O Lord, that yearns after you. A heart, O Lord Almighty, that pants after you. A heart that pleases you, O Lord. Father, give unto us in the name of Jesus. That Father, O Lord, we will turn away, O Lord. Father, O Lord, from our wicked ways, O Lord. We will turn, O Lord, unto you, the way of truth. We will turn unto the way of righteousness. We will turn, O Lord Almighty, and we would be obedient, O Lord Almighty, to your words, O Lord. Father, O Lord Almighty, we would, we would refuse to be distracted, O Lord, in any form, in any way, O Lord. Eternal rock of ages, you are the anchor, O Lord Almighty. Father, O Lord, your word says, O Lord, in Hebrews chapter 6, verses 19 to 20. We have this certain hope, like a strong, unbreakable anchor, holding our souls to God himself. Our anchor of hope is fastened to the mercy seat in the heavenly realm, beyond the sacred threshold. Father, O Lord Almighty, and we are Jesus, our forerunner, has gone on before us. He is now and forever our royal priesthood, like Melchizedek. Lord Jesus, you have gone before us to be our priest, to be our intercessor. You are our anchor. We hold on to you. We will not let you go. All the days of our lives, we will hold on to you our Redeemer, our Savior, the one that holds us in the palm of his hands. Almighty Father, 
we come before you. We come before you to worship you. We come before you, Almighty Father, to proclaim, O oh Lord, that you are the anchor that holds our lives. You are the pillar, O oh Lord Almighty, that is holding our lives, O oh Lord. Father, O oh Lord, in you we live. In you we move. In you we have our being, Almighty Father. Eternal rock of ages, we ask, O oh Lord, for a heart of obedience. Obedience to your will, obedience to your way. Obedience, almighty God. O oh Lord, give us that heart, O oh Lord. A heart, O oh Lord, that pleases you. A heart, O oh Lord, in the mind of Christ. The mind, O oh Lord, almighty, to do that which will make you happy. The mind, O oh Lord, almighty, to love one another, O oh Lord even as you have loved us. Father, O Lord Almighty, empower us, O Lord. Give us, O Lord Almighty, the strength to do it, O Lord. Put your super over our natural. We don't have any power of our own as humans. But Lord Almighty, we lift up our eyes unto you, Almighty God. And we look up to you, eternal King of glory. And we know, O Lord, that through Christ, we can do all things. Through Christ, we can live a life of holiness. Through Christ, we can live a life of righteousness. Through Christ Jesus, we can do all things. We have that confidence. We have that confidence in you because you are the anchor. You are the sure foundation of our lives, O oh Lord. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you honor. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are all welcome to today's broadcast. You are welcome to Powerhouse Hour. Hallelujah, a Holy Spirit soaking room experience. We are just ordinary citizens of heaven. We are no pastors, we are no reverend. We are just ordinary citizens of heaven who love the Lord our Savior, the one who has saved us, the one who has redeemed us, the one who has forgiven us all our sins, that man of Galilee who, who, who forgave us our sins. And he also gave us the Holy Spirit. He gave us the Holy Spirit to help us, to, the Holy Spirit to empower us, the Holy Spirit to help us to live a life of holiness, to live a life of righteousness, even in this broken world, even in this fallen world, to stand upright, our anchor, the one who has who is anchoring our lives. You are welcome to our broadcast today. We, 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 we want you to stay tuned and to enjoy this, the message of today. Our focus for today's worship is about the anchor. Hallelujah. And we are on all social media platforms. We are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, we are on Twitter, we are on, we are, we are on all the social media platforms. And we also have a website. Our website is www.phhworld.com. Visit our website. There is also a QR code on our website. You can scan the QR code and it will take you directly to our website. You can leave messages for us there. You can leave comments for, as well for us in the chat. And even after the broadcast, you can wait behind to have a soaking room experience, to have a wonderful experience that you will never, you will never recover from. Our lives have, has never been the same again. It has been, a, it, it's always a pleasure to come on this broadcast to, 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 to showcase our, our Savior, to showcase our Redeemer, to showcase the one who has done so much for us, the one who has done what our parents cannot do, the ones that, who, that do what no man can do for us. We are so excited. We are so happy to be on this broadcast this afternoon to so wherever you may be in the world, whatever time zone you are in. Guess what? Our God is not bound by time. He is not bound by space. Please enjoy the, this broadcast. God bless you as you do so. 
Alléluia. Amen. Oh, you have done so much for us. And we cannot tell it all. Receive our praises. Receive, receive, Lord. Receive us, Lord. Receive our praises. Hallelujah. Amen. Christ our anchor. Psalm 32 says, Oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refuse to confess my sin, my body wasted away and I groan all day long. When day and night, your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confess all my sins to you and you stop trying. I stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Therefore, let the godly pray to you while there's still time that they may drown, not drown in the flood waters of judgment. For you are my hiding place. You are my anchor. You shield me. You protect. Hallelujah. You protect me from trouble and you surround me with songs of victory. Hallelujah. Amen. We your anchor in the storms of life. When the clouds unfold, the wings of strife. When the strong ties lead and the cables trail, we your anchor drift or firm remain. We have an anchor that keeps the soul. Save us and show where the billows roll. Fast it to the work which cannot move. Grand and firm and in the Savior's love. We your anchor in the straits of fear. When the breakers roar and the weep is near. Where the sword is red and the wide winds blow, shall the angry waves at your back overflow. We have an anchor that keeps the soul, save us and show where the billows roll. Fasten to the rock which cannot move. Grand firm and deep in the Savior's love. We your anchor in the floors of death. When the waters cold shield your latest breath. On the rising tide, you can never fail. While your anchors within the veil, we your anchors hold in the floors of death. When the waters go chill, your latest breath on the rising tide, you can never fail. While your anchor within the veil, hallelujah. We have our anchor that keeps the soul, save us and show what the billows roll. 
Fazen and show what the billows roll. Fazen to the rock which cannot move. Can the farmer need in the Savior's Lord? Hallelujah. We are looking at Christ as our anchor today. The one that holds our life together in the midst of storms, in the tides of life. The ones that keep us focused on him. That's who we are looking at. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the eyes of the storm, he remains in control of our lives. In the middle of rumors and wars and rumors of wars, he guides our soul. He alone is our anchor. When our sails are torn, when life's challenges come at us, he surrounds us, he surrounds me in the eye of the storm. His protection surrounds me. His will surrounds me. His promises surround me. Hallelujah. In the eyes of the storm. In the eyes of the storm. Father, you remain in control. In the middle of the world. Only you guide my soul. Father, you alone, you alone are the anchor that I see. When my sails are torn, only your love surrounds me. In the eye of the storm, only your protection surrounds me. In the eye of the storm, only your encouragement, Father, keeps me. In the eye of the storm. That is why he is our hiding place. He is the one we want to in the midst of storms. When life with you, with life issues and circumstances are raging, left and right, it is our hiding place. You are my hiding place. Father, you always, always fill my heart with the songs, the songs of deliverance. So whenever I am afraid, I have you to run to Lord Jesus. I will run to you. And I will trust in you. Father, let the weak say I, I am strong in the strength of my You know, in life, we go through situations, through circumstances, through things that are powerful than us, that tries to overshadow us, that tries to drown us. But God, our Savior, he is our hiding place. He anchor us to him. Psalm 3 says, oh Lord, I have so many enemies, so many situations, so many, some uh, sicknesses and diseases, discouragement from left and right. There are many, many things that comes in the place of our enemies. He says, so many are against me. So many are saying, God will never rescue her. So many are saying, with all the prayers, all the fasting, yeah. all the worshiping, but you alone are my shield. You are a shield around me. 
you are my glory. The one who holds my head high. I cry out to the Lord and he answered me from his holy mountain. I laid down and slept. Yet I awoke in safety. For the Lord was watching over me. That's why I'm not afraid of 10,000 of enemies who surround me on every side. Arise, O oh Lord, rescue me, be my anchor, because you are my God. Slap all the enemies in the face, every sicknesses, every diseases, let them know that you are my God. Shatter the, che the feet of the wicked. Victory comes from you. O oh Lord, may you bless your people. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Oh, Christ the solid, walk I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand, all of the ground is sinking sand. Oh, Christ, a solid adaboshi, oh, da carabosi, ma se y cariba seca. Oh, na quite solid walk I stand. Every other thing say sick and sand. Oh, Lord, I bound. He sick and sand. For thou, O Lord, you are the shield for me. You are my glory, and you are the lifter up of my head. For thou, O Lord, are the shield for me. You are the glory. You are the lift of all of my head. For thou, O oh Lord, are the shield for me. You are the glory and the lift of all of my head. Hallelujah. Father, you are the lifter, the anchor, the shield that protects us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Because you are the pillar that holds our lives. You are the pillar that holds our lives together. When the wind comes, when the storms come, when trouble knocks on our door, you are the pillar that we can want to, hold on to, and the one that shields us, and the one that does not make us to be afraid. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master, you are the pillar that holds my life, you are the pillar that holds my life, Jehovah. You are the pillar that holds my life, Master Jesus. 
Yuad Piladao Mahalai Master Jesus Yuad Piladao Mahalai Christ my anchor my safety my safety net you are my rock you are my solid rock you are my strength you are my strong tower my fortress my canopy you are my helper you are my protector my shield my armor my breastplate you are my defense my buffer my cushion my life bumper you are my bullet proof coverage, my salvation. You are my deliverer, my redemption, my way of escape, my recovery. You are my steadfastness, my anchor in the midst of storms of life. My steadfast, I'm in email or movable anchor in spite of the ties of life. My foundation, my captain, the captain of my life, my example for life. You are my clothing, you are my coverage, my life manager, my boss, my king. You are my king, Lord. You reign in majesty. You sit in heaven and you make the earth your full soul. You are my governor general. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I worship you. Indeed, God, you're my uncle. Father, you're my helper. You are my pillar. You are my shield. You are the hand that I am. You're my defender. You're my redeemer. You're my comforter. Father, Lord, it is in you that I live, that I move, and I have my being. You are my teacher. You are my instructor. Father, you are my restorer. You are my fortress. You are my buckler. Father, you are my banner. You are my strong tower. You are unchanged to change. You are the almighty God. You are my advocate. Father, you're so glorious in holiness. Father, you're fearful in praises. You are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the rose of Sharon, the lion of Judah, the I am that I am, the soon coming king, the God that will be forevermore. Even when the world will cease to be, you will continually be God. Father, I worship you because of who you are. I worship you alone because you are my anchor. I bow, oh Lord, to your lordship. I bow to your kingship, Lord, and I return all the glory to you. Thank you because you're the lift of my head, and I just thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Mm, Father God, we thank you today, God. Oh, oh God, we thank you for being our creator, oh God. You're the giver of all, and you are the knower of all. God, we thank you today for being the just and the judge, oh God. You are the forgiver and you are the hinder of faults, oh God. You're the loving one, Father. You're the truth and you are the light. The possessor of all strength, oh God. The taker and you are the giver of life, oh God. You are the self-existing one, Father God. The first God and the last, oh God. And you are my protecting friend, oh God. You are the everlasting one, Father God. You are the rock of offense, oh God. And you are the king of glory. glory. You are are the compassionate God and you're worthy oh God you are a worthy king in the name of Jesus oh God thank you for being the banner and the lifter of heads in Jesus name amen, amen. thank you Lord Jesus thank you, Christ my uncle hallelujah thank you, Christ my uncle Jesus, my hope and my answer. You are my ever present help in the time of need. You are my first love. Hallelujah. You are my hope in trials and 
overcome all you my hatred. You are my shield, my book. You are my fortress. You are the glory and the lifter up of my head. You are the beauty of my soul. You are the peace that holds my life together. You are my strong tower. Hallelujah. You are my goodness. You are my whole armor. Hallelujah. My advocate. My all. all. Oh, glory to your holy Oh, God, before you, I worship your majesty. I worship your excellency. And I say to you alone be all the glory, honor, and adoration now and forevermore. Hallelujah. In the name of, the name. of glory, Almighty Father, my Redeemer, the lover of my soul, the owner of my soul, my go to person the one who reigns supreme, the one who alone is God, almighty, victorious, the all-powerful God, the almighty God, the ancient of days, the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the king of glory, the one who loves us, the one who cares about us, almighty God, the one who fights my battles, battles that I see, battles that I do not see, battles that I don't even know exist. Almighty God, who is like unto you, O Lord? There is no one that can be compared with you. You are the King of kings. You are the anchor, Almighty God, of my life. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you praise. Whenever I am overwhelmed, I come unto you. Whenever, O oh Lord Almighty, I do not know what to do, I look up to you. I thank you because you are my help in time of need. You are the ever, ever present help. You are the one who is always with me. You never leave me. You never forsake me. I give you thanks. I give you praise. I worship your majesty. I worship your supremacy ever faithful, ever true. I give you glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We bless you. You are wonderful. You are counselor, almighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace throughout eternity. You are the uncreated creator mightier than the mightiest, greater than the greatest, stronger than the strongest, hallelujah. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are my resting place, my Shiloh, my ark of the covenant, my true and faithful one, the horn of my salvation, my pool of Bethesda, my city of refuge, my manna from heaven, the ruler of all powers, principalities in heaven, on earth, in the seas, and under the seas. You open doors no man can shut, and you shut doors no man can open. You make a way where there seems to be none. The Lamb of God, who was slain for my sin, the God in whom my trust, my constant companion, friend, and helper, my example, my role model, sweeter than honey on the honeycomb, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Natalie. Thank you. You are the name changer. You are the destiny mover. You are the giant slayer, the mountain mover, the sea divider. You are king of kings, lord of lords, mighty God. You have no equal. You should have no rival. You are God all by yourself, and there is no other. Rock of ages, cleft for me. I hide myself in you, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We thank you. Yes, the Lord is God, and there is no other. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Friends, you are not here by mistake today. You didn't click on this video because you are bored. No, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Almighty God has ordered your steps here today. And we pray that you will not live the same as you came. Hallelujah. We pray that Holy Spirit will convince you himself of your need to surrender your soul to Jesus Christ and allow him to be your anchor. What's an anchor? As you can see on the picture, it's a small piece of metal shaped like a cross with a wide base with hooks on either end. And it's located at the bottom of ships, big ships on the sea, amen? And the anchor, when everything is going right, when there's no winds, when there's no wave, the anchor seems like it's not there. But the power of the anchor is showcased when the winds begin to blow, when there's a storm on the sea. And the anchor is deployed during storms to help the boat not to tip off and not to sink in the sea. The role of the anchor is made evident during the storm. Hallelujah. Friends, allow Jesus today to be your anchor. And in those days of trials and challenges, he will keep your feet firm on the ground. You will be shaken, but you will not perish because Jesus is your anchor and he will keep you standing in perfect peace. Hallelujah. Hide me now. Under your wings, cover me within your mighty hand. When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above. The storm, Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still, know you are God. Find rest my soul in Christ the Lord, know his power in quietness and trust. When the oceans rise and dawn the throne, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still, know you are God. I will be still, know you are God. I will be still, know you are God. Hallelujah. Friends, I want us to look at Luke 8, 22 today. And it says, one day Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and started out. The Lord Jesus is saying to you and me today, let us cross to the other side. Let us move from the old ways, the old doings, the old mentality, the old life to a brand new life in him, with him, 
with Jesus. Let us move from the familiar to the life that Jesus has purpose for you and me before the beginning of times, before the Garden of Eden. He has prepared a good life for us, a life where we accept our identity as children of God, where we walk in our authority and rebuke the winds and waves in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Be still, my soul. The Lord is on your side. Bear patiently the cross of grief and pain. Live to your God. To order and provide in every change, ye faithful will remain. Be still, my soul. Your best, your heavenly friend. Through thorny ways leads to a joyful end. Be still, my soul. Your God will undertake to guide the future as he has the past. Your hope, your come. Feed this land of in shame. Oh, now, Mr. Real shall be bright. Alas, be still, my soul. The ways and winds still know his voice who rules them while he lives below. Hallelujah. Friends, only the anchor, hallelujah, can tell my soul to be still, can tell my soul, don't worry, can tell my soul, these winds and waves, they have an expiration date. My father cannot do it for me. My mother cannot do it. My best friend cannot do it. Only Jesus keep my soul at peace in the time of the storm. Be still, my soul. The hour is here, When we shall be forever with the Lord. When this appointment, grief and fear are gone, sorrow for God, lost pure, rest joys restored. 
Be still, my soul, when changes years are past. Oh, safe and blessed, we shall meet at last. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to your holy name, my anchor. Amen. And in Luke 8, 23 says, as they sailed across, Jesus settled down for a nap. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water. They were in real danger. The disciples went and woke him up shouting, Master, Master, we're going to drown. Friends, a boat is made to float on water. It's usually made with waterproof material so that water will not come in. Friends, the boat represents you and I. We are created to ride on the water, to walk on water, to have dominion over the earth, the seas and everything in them. God gave us the authority to subdue the waters. A picture of challenges, pain, fear, disappointment, sickness, and all the works of the enemy, Satan. So friends, I have a question for you today. Does your boat has an anchor? Who is the anchor in your life? When your boat is being filled with water, when it looks like you're going down, when it looks like you are perishing, who do you call to? Jesus has to be in my boat and in your boat be before we are able to call onto him in time of trouble. He has to be in the boat, hallelujah. If Jesus was not in the boat with the disciples, they will not be able to call on him, master, master. Who is your master, friends? Are you your own master? I've tried to be my own master in the past. I've tried to be in control of my boat. I've tried to do things with my own intelligence, my own knowing, my own wisdom. But I was thinking, I was going down. But then one day, in my dorm room in college 20 years ago, I cried out to Jesus and asked him to come into my boat and quiet the winds and the waves and give me direction in this life. Because friends, when the winds and waves come, they shake us. We lose sign of direction. We lose our left from our right. We don't know what is our before, what is behind us. When the winds come, it pulled us out of direction. We are lost in the midst of the winds and the waves, unless we have an anchor that can pull us back to focus, that can pull us back to where we need to be. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus came in, allow him to be my anchor. And my soul has not been the same ever since. What he did for me 20 years ago, he wants to do for you today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Are you hurting and broken within? Overwhelmed by the weight of your sin, Jesus is calling. Have you come to the end of yourself? 
Do you thirst for a drink from the well? Jesus is calling. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Leave behind your regrets and mistakes. Come today, there's no reason to wait. Jesus is calling. Bring your sorrows and trade them for joy. From the ashes, a new life is born. Jesus is calling. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, come to the altar. The Father's arms are open wide. Forgiveness was bought with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, friends. Jesus extend this invitation to you today to allow him to come and be in your boat. Hallelujah. To allow him to to come and take residence in your boat. Hallelujah. And friends, if this word resonates with you, if you know that, yes, this is speaking to me, I need an anchor in my life. I need this Jesus in my life. Just repeat this word after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you, hallelujah, for making your word, your invitation available to me today. I heard with my ears and I opened my heart to you. Come and be my anchor, my Lord and my Savior, that on those days of storms and winds, I can cry out like the disciple. I can cry out, Master, Master, I am going down and you will come and you will show up and you will command the winds and waves to quiet. Hallelujah. Because the winds obey you. Because the waves bow before you. Thank you for dying for me on Calvary Cross. Thank you for paying the price, the ultimate price that I may be forgiven this day. Hallelujah. I give you my old life. I give you my old ways. Come and change everything in my life. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your forgiveness. From this day forward, I choose to be a son, a daughter of the Most High God. Amen and amen. And friends, if you pray this prayer, welcome to the family of God. Hallelujah. We ask that you will find a Bible-believing church in your community, that you will be connected, plugged in. Hallelujah. That you may discover more about this Jesus. Hallelujah. And build a strong relationship with him. Amen and amen. Please follow up.
us on our social media. You can email us at I help to inspire at gmail.com. So the word I help, the number two, and the word inspire at gmail.com. We love to get to know you, to celebrate what the Lord Jesus has begun in your life today. And if you have surrendered your life to him, he is in your boat. And so this week, if you have any challenge, any disappointment, we encourage you to do like the disciple did on that lake. Just cry out like they did. Master, master, I am going down. Help me. And he will show up in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Awesome. Hallelujah. We'll bless God. What a good God we serve. Yes, Jesus is our hope and our anchor. We will keep us in the midst of storm. He is the one who is able to keep us steadfast and unmovable in the spite of ties of life. And you will agree with me that in this day and age, there are many times, there are many storms, there are many things that try to distract us, there are many things that try to question us, even as believers that make us to think, is truly God my anchor? But we've brought you great news today to let you know that indeed our God is our anchor. I love that description that my sister gave, you know, we are meant to flow on water, but sometimes we, because of the distraction, because of the pace, because of things that we go through, it's as if the boat is sinking but if we cry out to Jesus because he know we are not perfect he will always be there for us and it will make us to sink above the sun because he is our faithful God we just bless God for that and I just want to welcome everyone that has just joined that beautiful anchor that has just invited Jesus into their boat that you know what your boat cannot sink but it doesn't mean that storms will not come just like the disciple experience it but when you come and you call out to that Jesus he will just look and say you know what be still and that's why the disciples said that who is this mighty god that even the waves and the storms they obey him just a word because he created the word even by the word so the word of god are ye and amen and it's to encourage me to encourage everybody that no matter what we may be going through jesus is our anchor if only we invite him so if you've invited him i want to say welcome to the household of god and we love you and we pray that the Lord will keep you and preserve you and it will indeed be your anchor in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. God has indeed been very awesome. We just give him praise. We always return that glory to him. Just today we were just discussing and one of our sisters said that it must only be him we worship and it's only God that we worship. We return all that glory to him because it's not because we can talk. It's not because we know him better, but because of the grace and the mercy that is shown towards us. So we don't take it for granted and we return all that glory to him in the name of Jesus. Awesome God. As I come into your presence, past the gate of praise, into your sanctuary, till we stand in face to face, I look upon your countenance, I see the fullness of your grace, and I could wholly bow down and say, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. We invite the hand into our lives. You are awesome in this place. Ah, the Father, the awesome anchor. You are worthy of our praise. To you, our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God, he's been so awesome, he's been awesome in this place. Mighty God, we return all the glory to you. You are awesome in this place. Abba Father, you are worthy of our praise. To you our lives we raise. You've been awesome in this place. Almighty God, you've been awesome in this place. Almighty God. Father, Lord, we come before you. 
Father, the Bible said that just as our faces are different, so how our taught our mind. Some of us, we are going through different storms, oh Lord. But Father, we refuse to take control, Lord. And we just give it all to you, Lord. We surrender to you, Lord Jesus. And we ask Holy Spirit that you will help us. Holy Spirit, that you will guide us in the storm of this life. That our anchor will always hold, Lord. That even in our lowest, Lord, you will be there to uphold us, Lord. Father, we just believe in you. And I pray for anyone that has received you, Jesus, Lord, today. That indeed you will show for your power in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. For those of us, oh Lord, that have received you, oh God. But are still going through storm. We will invite you into our lives once again, Lord. And we give it all to you you that indeed you are our anchor we invite you into our boat oh god and we say father take control lord in the name of jesus thank you father and i just pray oh lord as we go forth in this week that indeed you be our anchor father you make us to be steadfast oh god you make us to be sure in you you will make us to be bold and be confident and to know that indeed father lord jesus you are our anchor we give it all to you lord in the name of jesus and we pray this week will be a fantastic one in the mighty name of jesus thank you lord thank you holy spirit and we just want to say thank you so much everyone for joining us today Day. We pray that indeed you've been blessed and we pray that you'll be blessed more even as you go from this place and continue to develop yourself, continue to grow in the Lord and continue to believe in him that indeed is our anchor in the name of Jesus. So we're inviting you back next week, the same time. And we pray that the Bible said that the glory of the latter house shall surpass the former. Next week will be greater than today. And so will it be in the name of Jesus. So you have a wonderful week. And you know what? Be strong and be courageous because the Lord has got you. He is your anchor. God bless you. We love you. And we hope to see you very soon in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.